Well, I was hoping that last cutscene could have been a bit more positive. Oh well. Because I was hoping we're getting to the point where they start to get a bit closer, so he kind of starts to appreciate Ellie a little bit, but... Not today. Not today. Uh, what was I gonna say? I've got something. I also got something to say. Oh yeah, remember if you watched my God of War Ascension video, you would have heard me mention a, um, a ghost called a, um, oh, was it Shiri Mei? Shiri Mei? Basically, it was called Ass Eye. But <laughs> I came across another funny Japanese ghost. Right there, okay. Yeah, she's not too happy with it. Is she? Oh, no, she's just sitting there. She's fine. She's fine. Sure, she could be attacked at any moment, but she's fine. Uh, but there's another one. I can't remember the, its name, but what it literally does is it, it haunts... Oh, Savage Starlight. Oh, he didn't even mention that he found it that time. Um, what was I going to say? There was a... <coughs> It's a, it's a ghost, and essentially what happens is it it, it, it specifically haunts bathrooms. It's actually no, it, more specifically, it haunts uh, filthy bathrooms. It does not terrorize anyone in any way, shape, or form. Instead, what it does is it comes out and it just it just licks shit up. It literally just just licks up the rubbish and cleans the place up a bit. So it's a ghost that pretty con like pretty you know politely goes around cleaning bathrooms. So, it's not as, I don't find it as hilarious as Ass Eye, to be honest with you. He's, uh, he's my personal favorite. Aw, you sulking? Yeah, she's sulking. She'd be fine, she's cool. I don't know, I, I think Joel... Get back out, find that bridge. Tell me where you go. Oh, I hate this crap. Yeah, see, he's... He's a likable guy, but he is also a bit of an asshole. But I think he's kind of coming from the perspective that he doesn't like being responsible for for a child's safety. Well, not a child. She's not a... Ellie's not a child, but, you know. She's more or less the same age as his daughter, and he couldn't protect her. So I'm thinking Joel is just... I think he's just worried that, you know, she's pretty much gonna... That he, she might die, just like Sarah did. Or maybe I'm just reading a little too far into his character. I don't know. <laughs> I did English when I was in college, so I'm used to giving more thought to a storyline than the actual writer. Ah, uh, firefly pendant, but look at this! Like, I know, regular bathroom stalls, regular bathroom stalls, and then this is like the king-sized bathroom stall. There isn't even anything fancy in here. It's just a regular-sized toilet, and then like plenty of space for the man's servants to just stand around and watch him take a dump. Or a doomp. I don't know why I wanted to say it as doomp. All good? Sorry. <laughs> Ellie doesn't share my enthusiasm for wandering around bathrooms. She really doesn't. <laughs> I'm a bathroom enthusiast. I'm all full up. Okay. But I was a bit worried about that last quick time event. I was pretty certain Joel was dead. Just a feeling I had. Okay. Alright, we're all good. Does this do melee weapons upgraded modifications as one hit longer? That's actually pretty handy because the modification I don't I haven't used the modifications on melee weapons yet because they last for one hit, which isn't exactly a whole lot of good, you know. Ellie, I I really want to see like uh, the the conversation I got to pop up above her head, <laughs> just to talk to her a bit, just to smooth things over after that last cutscene. Wow, look at that. Is that a? Oh, here we go. That's a. Uh backdrop people would take their pictures in front of it yeah I know what it is <laughs> okay then something on your mind Ellie <sighs> I wasn't trying to disobey you back there you were taking a really long time and I thought maybe he's gotten into trouble Look, it don't matter what you thought I need you to listen to me I do it's just that I <sighs> Whatever, Joel. You know, there's sure there's a bit of conflict going on between them, but if you ask me, that just makes <laughs> that just makes this an even more believable father-daughter relationship. <laughs> Things were too ideal between between Joel and Sarah. I'm guessing this is going to look at that piano. That door looks like a way out. Oh, hey, you wow. see a way to get up there? Nope. That was a swing and a miss on my part. I'd be able to get there with this. Huh.
That was some mean tunes. Can I do it again? I think I think you guys deserve an encore. Oh yeah. <laughs> that was what I wrote about my first love. Alright, I guess we just give this an old shove. Hey, how about a hand? You sure you can trust me with that? Ellie. I think things are gonna get a little bit worse between them Push before we get any better. There, how's that? Let's go. Yeah, did the trick just nicely. Guess it's from A to B. Oh, well that makes sense, because I was wondering how that piano was in any way linked to there. <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to drag the whole thing across the uh, the entire room. I was like, oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Tables and everything. Alright, mine, mine. Alrighty. Where'd Ellie go? She's usually... Alright, there she is. I was like, she's usually behind me like a duckling. <laughs> She is really pissed with me. Okay. Oh, good. Yeah, I definitely really do need to watch The Road again soon. It's, uh, I, I remember it not being a great movie, but I, I do still remember really liking it, so... I'm looking forward to seeing that again. Alright. Guess we just hop up on up to the scaffolding. <laughs> I'm gonna jump down there and I'm gonna clear us a path. What about me? You stay here. This is so stupid. We'd have more of a fucking chance if you let me help. I am. You seem to know your way around a gun. You reckon you can handle that? Well, I sorta of shot a rifle before, but it was at rats. Rats? With BBs. Well, it's the same basic concept. Lift it up. All right, now, you're going to lean right into that stock because it is going to kick a hell of a lot more than any baby rifle. Okay. Go and pull the bolt back. Grab it right there. Just tug it. Here you go. And as soon as you fire, you're going to want to get another round in there quick. Listen to me. If I get into trouble down there, you make every shot count. Yeah. I got this. All right. And just so we're clear about back there, it was either him or me. You're welcome. All right, I think things have finally been smoothed yeah, over between those two. Bear. If you're going to steal, then you better make sure you get away with it. Right? I would have done... They're all dead! They're all fucking dead! What the hell's he yapping about? Take a breath! Who's dead? The whole crew. The 76 lookout guy. Some fucking tourist killed him. Kill all of them! Shit. Have you talked to the boss? Yeah. He wants everyone to hold their ground. Watch the gate. All right. You heard him. Search the area. Do not let anybody through! Did I really kill 76 people? And that was just in this one chapter. That was just 76 hunters. <laughs> well, you consider that the, the human race is pretty close. About the crew being dead? I don't see some tourists taking out the entire crew. Uh, they're just talking. They did. Uh, because I really... Don't be an idiot. If I can hit that guy in the head. He doesn't give a damn about this place. If anything, some tourists got lucky. We'll find them. Damn it. I hesitated for too long trying to line up my shot. Um, because, you know, given that the human race is, you know, kind of pretty much near extinction and everything, Joel really did his part to kind of speed up the whole natural process, didn't he? <laughs> well, I wonder if I could hit that guy from this distance. I probably could too. I'd be pretty sick if I did, but I don't see it happening personally. Damn it. Oh boy. Heard something. Oh. 
Oh, that made up for the bad shot. <laughs> well, maybe you don't think it makes up for the bad shot, but it, to, to me it certainly does. Uh, I'm going to try and kill as many of them quietly as I possibly can. So that when the shit does hit the fan, and the shit will inevitably hit the fan. Ah, oh, balls. Did it spot me? Oh, I at least spotted them. Oh, I gotta get rid of my rifle. Oh, my thing. Got a rifle. Oh, fuck, there he is. Oh, I'm gonna have to charge him. Oh, boy. Hey, shot him. <laughs> yeah, little fucker. I shot him in the back and he just took it. Took it like a champ. Alright, that shot was Ellie. She does seem to be a pretty pretty reasonable shot with that rifle. Get behind cover. There he is. <laughs> I don't know why he was thinking slowly advancing on the man with the rifle. Shit. So he can take at least two shots anyway. Good job, kiddo. Oh nice! Ellie just put my rifle skills to shame. I actually feel a little bit of fatherly pride right now. Oh shit. It's that guy down. Oh, they got another Molotov. Oh, this is going to be a bit of an intense firefight, isn't it? In some cases, in certain points, a lig. a, 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 li a literal firefight. No, you don't! <laughs> that seemed like a pretty brutal smash. Oh, there we go. That is the most embarrassing way for a pyromaniac to go. Or else, it's arguably the most poetic way for them to go. It, 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 it's, it's a matter of perspective. It depends on how you look at it. Good job, Ellie. Aw, Joel is actually feeling a little bit proud. There! Oh shit! Oh yeah, I saw that one coming. Oh, oh no! Oh, would you look at that! Oh, the first time I die in the game. Ah, oh, that's that's awful.